we finally got our first glimpse of the cast for James Gunn's upcoming Green Lantern series. During the panel, Gunn confirmed that the series is going to be its own thing. He emphasized that every project from DC Studios will be unique, saying, we want this to be very different from what Superman is going to be when that comes out. He specifically mentioned Lanterns and Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, highlighting that while it's a connected universe, they're not sticking to one overall style. So without further ado, let's dive into what else we know about the series. With James Gunn announcing that a Green Lantern project titled Lanterns is in the works at DC Studios, fans are eager to learn more about it. As the name suggests, the series will explore the lives and powers of various Green Lanterns. It's part of the new lineup for DC's cinematic universe and promises a fresh take on the beloved comics. In the realm of DC's animated projects, Jon Stewart has been a standout hero in the DC animated universe, especially in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. This popularity paved the way for a brief Green Lantern animated series that showcased other lanterns like Kilowog and Guy Gardner. However, live-action adaptations haven't had the best track record, with Ryan Reynolds' 2011 Green Lantern often cited as one of the worst superhero movies ever made. But with Gunn stepping in to revitalize DC's films and shows, Lanterns could provide a fresh perspective fans have been waiting for. We now know that Kyle Chandler will portray Hal Jordan, officially confirming earlier rumors. The casting has received mixed reactions, but many believe Chandler's talent, especially his Emmy-winning role as coach Eric Taylor in Friday Night Lights, could bring a unique mentor dynamic to Hal Jordan. Alongside Chandler, Aaron Pierre has been cast as Jon Stewart, marking him as the younger Lantern who will be mentored by the more experienced Hal Jordan. Pierre has garnered attention for his performance in the film Rebel Ridge, showcasing his potential for a role like Jon Stewart. With Hal Jordan as the veteran, it's likely that Pierre's Jon Stewart will be positioned as a central figure in the developing DCU in the years ahead. Now that we've shed some light on the Lantern series, let's dive into how it got its first confirmation and give the green light on what to expect. After scrapping several projects in the DC Extended Universe, DC Studios co-CEOs Peter Safran and James Gunn aim to address the franchise's past issues and kick off a new direction for DC's cinematic ventures. On January 31, 2023, Gunn finally provided some clarity by announcing 10 new movies and shows, including Lanterns. Since that announcement, there have been some exciting developments surrounding the series. Gunn and Safran brought in talented writers Damon Lindelof Watchman and Chris Mundy Ozark, along with comic book writer Tom King, to shape the storyline. The official synopsis gives us a glimpse of what to expect. The series follows new recruit Jon Stewart and Lantern legend Hal Jordan, two intergalactic cops drawn into a dark, Earth-based mystery as they investigate a murder in the American heartland. Sounds intriguing, right? The series is produced by HBO in collaboration with Warner Brothers Television and DC Studios, showcasing a strong team behind it. The writing trio of Mundy, Lindelof, and King promises a rich narrative, while James Hawes will direct the first two episodes. As an executive producer, Mundy will oversee the series alongside Lindelof, King, and Hawes, ensuring it aligns with the essence of the Green Lantern comics. With all these developments, Lanterns is shaping up to be an exciting addition to the DC Universe, and fans are eagerly anticipating what this new chapter will bring. So, it's clear that Lanterns is getting the green light to move forward, and we can't wait to see how it unfolds. While there's a lot of buzz surrounding the Lantern series, we still don't have an official release date. However, reports suggest that DC Studios is aiming to start filming in January 2025 and wrap up by July. Given the extensive visual effects work that will likely be required, it seems Lanterns is targeting a release sometime in 2026. Once filming kicks off, we should have a clearer idea of when to expect the series to hit our screens. As for the DC Universe's release schedule, it's still taking shape. Currently, Creature Commandos, Superman, and Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow are the only projects with confirmed release dates. If Lanterns does make the 2026 timeline, it would join Supergirl and the Batman Part 2, setting up an exciting lineup for DC following Superman's return in 2025. Now let's talk about the cast. Kyle Chandler's casting as Hal Jordan raised some eyebrows, but he's proven time and again that he excels in the mentor role, especially with his Emmy-winning performance as coach Eric Taylor in Friday Night Lights. 
Hal Jordan is typically the go-to Green Lantern in the DC Universe, but he hasn't been featured in live action since that less-than-stellar 2011 film. With Chandler's extensive acting background, including roles in Bloodline, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Manchester by the Sea and The Wolf of Wall Street, he's more than capable of bringing Hal to life. Aaron Pierre will step into the shoes of Jon Stewart, another key member of the Green Lantern Corps. Stewart was the fourth human to take on the Green Lantern mantle, following Alan Scott, Hal Jordan and Guy Gardner. Before James Gunn's announcement, Greg Berlanti, the mastermind behind many of the CW's Arrowverse shows, was keen on developing a series centered around the Green Lantern Corps. Although its fate was uncertain within the previous DCEU, this Green Lantern project was first teased back in 2019, and the casting process was already underway. By 2021, Finn Whitrock, known for his roles in Ratchet and American Horror Story, was set to portray Guy Gardner, while Jeremy Irvine from War Horse was lined up to play Alan Scott. Berlanti's vision for the show was quite different from Gunn's approach, as there were no plans for Jon Stewart or Hal Jordan in the mix at that time. The HBO Max series was also supposed to include other Green Lanterns like Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz. Although Zack Snyder's Justice League had intended to feature Wayne T. Carr as Jon Stewart, that scene ultimately got the axe in favor of a Martian Manhunter cameo. It was still unclear if Carr's version of Stewart would show up in Berlanti's iteration. However, with Gunn taking the helm and reshaping the direction of DC Studios, Berlanti's Green Lantern series has been officially cancelled. Instead, we are gearing up for the upcoming HBO series Lanterns, which promises to take the Green Lantern story in a new and exciting direction. James Gunn has shared some intriguing details about the upcoming Green Lantern show, which is set to take on a true detective-style crime thriller vibe. In this new DCU series, we'll follow two Green Lanterns as they investigate a mystery that ties into the larger narrative of Gunn's proposed Gods and Monsters arc. Since Gunn describes it as a terrestrial-based mystery, most of the action will unfold right here on Earth. This means that the Green Lanterns will operate more as space cops rather than the typical superhero archetypes we usually associate with the Green Lantern Corps. The choice of a true detective style highlights Gunn's commitment to bringing diverse creative inspirations to the forefront, moving away from the typical superhero formulas that have become a bit stale. Instead of rehashing the origins of these characters, Lanterns will present its titular heroes as already established figures within the universe. The mystery they'll tackle is described as having ancient roots, which could have far-reaching implications for both the Green Lanterns and the overall storyline of the revamped DC Universe. There's also the exciting potential for the first season's Earth-centric plot to pave the way for more interstellar adventures in future seasons, much like what we've seen in the comics. This fresh approach promises to keep the storytelling dynamic and engaging while exploring the broader universe that DC has to offer. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.